Hello, Lilas. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and clicking the link to be a part of the notification squad. Um, also, guys, if you have not checked out my merch, please make sure you check out my merch. And I'm trying to see, I'm seeing something in the, oh, Okay, never mind. Uh, the link is in the description bar as well, or you'll see it below um, the video description, as well as um, joining the chatterbox. If you want to join the chatterbox for live streams with me and the ladies, then the link is in the description bar as well. The chatterbox is lots of fun. Um, it is a dollar and ninety nine cents to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old. Anyways, anyhow, I am here with baby Nigel. And baby Nigel is the Willow Awake Scope um, by Claire Teller. He is actually the prototype. So he is actually totally done by Claire Teller herself. Um, it's kind of funny because I get this question all the time, like, where do you get your dolls? Where do you get your do your dolls? Where do you? And it's like Noah and Nigel. And I'm pretty sure I almost say almost in every single video. Um, so, guys, if you're looking for information on YouTubers uh, dolls, a lot of times if you just listen to the video, you will find a lot of the answers because a lot of us are very repetitive in um repeating information all right so i had a good question in the live stream the other night and i thought i would make a separate video for it just in case you know because it sometimes when you do the, the thing about the live streams it's fun and it's good when you're there and you're you know while it's live but to go back and watch an hour or two hour long live stream is kind of challenging um you know sometimes you could just let it play i guess while you're working or whatever but i know that it can be challenging when those live streams are that long and sometimes information get buried in in those so one of the questions were i'm also gonna attempt to get him dressed and Talk about this at the same time, but y'all know me. I get distracted and I can't focus on more than one thing at a time. Okay, so one of the questions was was like, how do you tell? How can you tell how old your baby is? Doll is. Um, you know, it's kind of like that question, like, what nationality are they? How do you know if it's biracial or not? Okay. So if you want to be um, politically correct, um, there is no nationality because when I did his DNA test and his accessory test, it came up as 0% human. <laughs> He's just a doll. So whatever I decide to say he is, that's what he is. Um, if I say he's six months old, then guess what? He's six months old because... He's just a doll. That's the politically, the the technical answer for us ladies, us mommies, us doll mommies. We are we're collectors of lifelike dolls and we want to match their size, their weight up to what age they would actually be. I have suggested that you maybe use Google. So I did that. And um, <laughs> I knew I would get a message about the uh, Claire Taylor babies. Um, I'll answer them in a minute. Um, the kits just went up for sale. They're going up for sale today. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, see, I get distracted. I was looking for my thing. So I Googled. A couple sizes just to give you guys an idea oh god they're not stopping the messages is flowing oh um okay so we'll start with him since he's in my lap so I googled 
um, what is the average three-month-old size baby? Um, uh, well, I, what the average three-month-old measurements is what I Googled. And when I Googled that, it came up as, um, it gave me like a little chart. Okay, I have to... I didn't want my message to pop up. So, uh, so two months, it says that there are about, now this is the 50 percentile length for male babies and for female babies. So for male two month old, the average is 23 inches and then um, in 58.4 centimeters. Um, and for the female two month old is 22 and a half inches and 57 Point one centimeters so Nigel is 22 inches so therefore he falls into more of the um, two month old baby so like I said he's about eight weeks old still newborn but not just freshly born and I would say his face and everything matches that totally um three month old is 24 inches for male and 23 inches for female. Four month old is 25 inches and for male and 24 inches for female. Five month old is 26 inches for a male and 25 inches for female. Now, I say this to say this, this is where I wanna get into it where it gets tricky. So baby Ada is the same length depending on what body you choose to put them on because the good thing about the vinyl is you can use a bigger body or a smaller body and kind of adjust their length so she is technically the same length as him however her measurements are different as far as like her the fatness of her legs the way that she sculpted and this baby totally looks older than Nigel so I would definitely say she would definitely be more of a for me I'm gonna go with more of like I say six months but I would say more of a between three to six months so I would I would actually say more of four months since she's a girl um I'm gonna say four months what did I say the four months was four months is 24 inches for a female. So she's 22 inches. Let's say her body might gave her a little bit more push. So I definitely say that she can easily go for four, four to five months. So that's how you can do that. Now, the funny thing about it is most toddlers that people dress up as toddlers, root their hair as toddlers, make them look like toddlers, their faces are more mature like toddlers, or like 25 inches and up which is technically scientifically not totally accurate but again these are dolls and we you know some sculptors don't want to sculpt a monster doll or you know a really when i say monster i mean monstrous in size um but i think there are a few artists that actually got it right and i'm going to tell you who it is and i'm going to tell you that's probably why i'm so drawn to the kit even though some people may not like the face as much or think it's not the cutest thing but I'll tell you what the kid depending on how it's painted it looks like my son when to me at that age I thought he was the cutest thing in the world of course he's my son he's my only son but he was when I look back at the pictures he was a little funny looking he had a big head and it was you yeah, know, but to me it was so endearing. It was just, he was just adorable. The big little bobbly head on the little body following me around everywhere I go. Oh my gosh, my cute little son. I love my son. Um, but so let's go into the toddler size because I found that very interesting. So the first thing I Googled was, well, I did do the six month old and they said 16 months old. They're about 16 to 16 pounds for the girls. 17 pounds for the boys and they're about 25 inches for girls and 26 inches for boys this is average because some of you guys are oh, my baby was bigger than that my baby was smaller than that you know I, I don't care about that this is the average this is all i'm doing is the average 
So that was a six month old. But what I found interesting, I Googled, um, I Google average 24 month old measurements, okay? Um, cause I had one doll in mind that most people usually make them be between two and three. So it said size from nine to 12 months. They're usually between 29 to 30 and a half inches or 77 centimeters from 12 to 18 months. They are between 30 and a half to 32 uh, inches and 81 centimeters. 18 to 24 months, they're between 32 and 33 inches and 85 centimeters. The gross, the d difference in the inches are not significant in between, if you see between nine and two years old, which is pretty interesting. Um, and then the two years old is usually between 33 and a half to 35 inches, which is 89 centimeters. Now, so I was thinking, and then I'm, let me, I even did the head size. I wanted to do, know the head circumference because people make comments about, oh, their head is so big. Da, da, da. So I Googled head circumference of a two year old. And then I got the average, actually it gave me the average of typical head size at eight months is 17 and a half inches in circumference by one year is 18 inches. So from eight months to a year, the head size is about the same within a half of an inch difference, which is interesting because I was looking at my Susu and I was like, Susu head is almost the same freaking size. Was it? No, not Susu. No, my Betty. Betty, yeah, Susu head and Betty head was almost the same size, but I consider Susu maybe between eight and 10 months, but Betty is supposed to be more of a one-year-old. So that's interesting. So that is accurate. The sculptor is accurate, but however, to me, I'm like, Betty head is kind of small for a toddler is what I was thinking. So and I'll, I'll I'll see if I can get Betty's measurements of her head. Matter of fact, let me do that really quick, just 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 out of curiosity. Um, Betty by Natalie Blick. Um, let me get her head to conference. Just I just just out of curiosity. So she is a little small because it's sixteen point nine should be around 17 18 so and her height is 27 which i knew she fell short for a one-year-old she's the betty is pretty small for a toddler but the way she's sculpted fits a one-year-old look i guess if that makes sense but anyway the one that i found that gets it really close and i and that's probably why when you see them painted and you see them posed and you see them, you know, everything they look so realistic is The Limb by Bonnie Brown. Because, um, Limb is, I know some of y'all like, this is so boring, but Limb is actually 28 inches, right? Now, granted, I always put my limb on a little bigger body, which makes him between 29, 30 inches. I actually, in fact, to be honest, I usually make him about 30 inches, between 29, 30 inches, because I just felt like he needed to be a little, the body needed to be a little bit longer. So, and his head circumference is um, 17 and a half. So at 17 and a half, that puts him about right because the average nine to 12 month old is 29 inches and he's 28. So he's right there in between nine and 12 months. 
So he would be a smaller one year old or, you know, right there teetering at the at just turning one years old, which is where I think I'm going to have mine. I don't know. I may make him a little older role play wise, but heads of conference, he's right there because they said the heads of conference of the average by one years old, they're 18 inches and he's 17 and a half inches his head to comfort. So perfect. Like, you know, oh, now a sculptor is responding too. Shoot. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's pretty cool how they all, oh, I never changed them. It's pretty cool how they all like really come up with these measurements but it's funny because I say sometime I feel like you know and it, it kind of throws me off with babies sometime I won't I won't lie sometime you look at a baby's face and the face is a little bit more mature than the size of the actual limbs and everything and that throws me off um like you'll have a baby that has like a very baby body style but the face look like it should be crawling right like six months or seven months i i think that throws me off and it'll kind of turn me off from the kit but you know what this is why some people put a lot of hair on their babies i think too because when they see the baby they see an older baby and but the sculpt, the measurements just don't quite match. So I think that's why the community has all different types of perceptions of how old their babies are, their dolls are. So the, the moral of the story is it's whatever you want it to be. But if you want to get technical, you can Google it. The information is always out there. You can get your averages and you can kind of you know, search in that way. Um, Matt Ferrison is very good at putting the head circumference, the, the length, all that stuff. I typically don't like to buy a kit that doesn't give me the measurements because I have had a kit. I had a Tina Kui kit one time. I didn't even, I think I might've showed it on my channel once. I felt like the head was so much smaller than it should be for the the actual limbs and so now I kind of like to get the measurements and sometimes if I'm not sure if I have the measurements I can compare it to a baby that I have in my collection to get an idea of how big the head is so yeah but I honestly think his head and um the vinyl baby head is about the same size now the actual silicone baby gabby Gale baby the head is a little bit bigger because the baby is a little bit bigger um i think they said when they go to go into vinyl sometime it it shrinks a little or something i don't know but anyway i don't get into all that because i don't i don't do that stuff this is a very old outfit and i don't really think the colors are flattering on him as much. Let me see. They are right, but I don't think he does good in these colors as so much. I think I'll put this on Noah. I'll take this off of him. But anyway, thanks guys for watching and until next time, be great and we'll see you later.